hello students um, we will continue our uh, this lecture uh, with um, the reduction formula and uh, we will start uh, from where we left off so we were trying to derive the reduction formula for the product of uh, two trigonometrical functions and um, we basically started with uh, integral of type i m n equals to sin m x times uh, cos n x dx um, i believe here there was a small error so it should be plus and uh, then we ultimately obtained this reduction formula. So now we will see an example where we can apply this reduction formula. So and another example. So find um, integral sine to the power 4x times cos square cos square x dx. So the solution would go something like this. So we can write i4 comma 2 equals to sine to the power 4 x times cos square x dx. Now i4 2 can be written as um, sine to the power uh, it can be written as sine to the power um, m plus 1. So m plus 1 would be um, m plus 1 would be uh, 5. So, where is that formula? So, here it will be m plus 1. So, 4 plus 1 divided by um, m plus n. So, m plus n is 6 and cos n minus 1. So, cos n minus 1 is our basically, so m plus n is 5 x dx and cos n minus 1 is cos x and uh, uh, this will be minus plus uh, uh, n minus 1. So, n minus 1 is 2 minus 1. So, this is basically 2 minus 1 divided by m plus n. So, m plus n is again 6 and uh, i uh, m is 4 and uh, n is n minus 2 is basically 2 minus 2. So, that is basically 0. So, here we will have sine 5 x times cos x by 6 plus 1 by 6 times i 4 0. So, i 4 0 next uh, i 4 0 is basically sine to the power 4 x dx. Now, i 4 0 and here we have sine to the power 4 x dx will again fall into that uh, sine n to the power x formula and uh, sine n to the power x formula was sine n minus 1. So, this is basically sine uh, sine cube x uh, times uh, cos x by uh, 4 my plus 4 minus 1. So, this is basically 3 by 4 um, i 4 minus 2. So, i 2 comma 0 and uh, i 2 comma 0 can be written as i 2 comma 0 can be written as integral sin square x dx and uh, sin square x dx can again uh, follow the same um, how to say integral uh, reduction formula. So, this can be written as sin uh, 2 minus 1. So, basically sin x times uh, cos x by 2 plus n minus 1. So, this is basically 1 by 2 i 0 and uh, i 0 0 is nothing but uh, sine to the power 0 x dx and uh, sine to the power 0 x is basically simply x. So, I can write it this whole thing as uh, i 4 0 equals to um, i 4 0 equals to sine to the power 5 x times cos x divided by 6 plus uh, 1 by 6 times i uh, i 4 0 i 4 0 is 3 by 4 times i 2 0. So, this one is uh, 3 by 4 times uh, i 2 0 i 2 0 is sine uh, sine x times cos x by 2 plus half i 0 i 0 0 is basically x 
plus a constant c so you will obtain whatever after the multiplication uh, you will get from here so this is uh, one another way uh, to uh, calculate the product of two trigonometrical functions and you can play with uh, any power here so you can play with any power here you please uh, sorry here you can play with any power of uh, power of sin x and cos x here and then you just apply this formula this one here and uh, that will give you the required uh, answer for that particular integral and um, this is one such iterative formula next we will derive the reduction formula of type uh, of type let's say tan to the power n x dx where n is again a positive integer so to do that i can again write i n because of that n here and then i will write tan to the power n x dx and i can split this tan n to the power tan to the power n x dx as tan n minus 2 x times tan square x dx and uh, then you just write tan square then you just write tan square x dx as a sec square x minus x like we know from the trigonometrical formula and then we just proceed as as uh, as before so we write this one as uh, sec square x minus 1 here and then you'll basically end up with um, uh, end up with an iterative formula of type uh, um, of type tan n minus 2 x dx minus uh, so tan square x uh, then this will become uh, sec square x minus 1 and then this one becomes tan n minus 2 x dx and this is again our i n minus 2 so we can write tan n minus 2 times sec square x dx minus tan n minus 2 so this can be written as tan n minus 2 x times sec square x dx minus i n minus 2 and uh, here if I substitute tan uh, x equals to z then in that case uh, that uh, dz will be sec square x dx and uh, we integrate and then this will become tan to the power n minus 1 x by n minus 1 minus i n minus 2. So this is basically the reduction formula for tan to the power n x dx. I mean, all you have to do is play with some trigonometrical formula. It's not that tricky. And uh, similarly, if you have some range for the definite integral, that is, uh, if it is 0 to pi by 4 um, tan n x dx, then you just have to integrate this part and uh, keep on keep on calculating depending on the power of n here. So if you have uh, n equals to 4, then it, this will become 4 minus 2 and then again in the next step it will become 2 minus 0 and if it is odd then you'll end up with i1 at the end so it's pretty much on the similar footsteps of um, uh, sin nx and cos nx formula so i leave uh, the examples uh, uh, for this uh, direction formula uh, up to the students you can look into any book Similarly, if you have, let's say, um, if you have uh, other trigonometrical functions, uh, for example, uh, if you have i n equals to integral cot n x dx, then you can again write cot n x dx as uh, cot n minus 2 x um, times uh, cot square x and uh, cot square x can be written as cosec square x minus 1 and then you follow the similar steps like before. So ultimately here the reduction formula would be i n minus 1 equals i n equals to cot to the power n minus 1 x divided by n minus 1 minus i n minus 2. So this will be the reduction formula for cot n minus cos cot n x dx. Similarly, one can have um, i n equals to sec n to the power x dx. So here also you write uh, sec n, n x dx as a sec n minus 2 x 
times uh, sec square x dx and uh, we substitute um, how to say um, sec, sec, sec x uh, as uh, um, sec square x as uh, one um, how to say one one plus tan square x and then we use some uh, how to say um, basic method of substitution so this will again give you i n equals to at the end uh, sec to the power n minus 2 x times tan x divided by n minus 1. I am just writing this because these are very straightforward. All you have to do is uh, do some basic integration and uh, this will be n minus 2 by n minus 1 times i n minus 2 and use some basic algebraic operations. So similarly, uh, we have the reduction formula for sec n to the power x dx. You can also have um, in the similar fashion, you can also have a cosec n x dx and you can write cosec x uh, cosec n x dx as cosec n minus 2 x times cosec square x dx and then you use uh, again some trigonometrical formula and uh, you will basically end up with cosec n minus 2 x times cot x by n minus 1 plus n minus 2 by n minus 1 i n minus 2. Here you can see a pattern that uh, say sine to the power nx and cos to the power nx follows the same formula, reduction formula. Similarly, tan x and cot x follow the same trigonometrical formula and also sec, uh, sec nx and cosec nx also follow pretty much the same trigonometrical formula. So instead, so when you have, when instead of sec x, if you have cosec x, then we just replace this sec x by cosec x and we replace tan x by cot x and then you will pretty much end up with a similar type of formula. And uh, as I was talking, uh, the derivation of these formulas are not difficult. So, uh, I will leave those uh, tasks to, to the students for practice. Next, um, we have a reduction formula of type, uh, let us go to a new page. So, next we have a reduction formula of type, let us say, uh, reduction formula. So, as you are seeing that uh, uh, by the help of these reduction formulas, we are deriving some kind of iterative schemes um, that will help us calculate uh, uh, very uh, complicated uh, powers of uh, functions uh, involved in your integral um, and uh, you just have to put in those uh, re reduction formula um, you just have, I mean and you just calculate uh, um, if it is um, I don't know i to the power i i i 10 then you may have to calculate i 8 i 6 i 4 i 2 and then i 0 and ultimately you just put those in that uh, in, 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 in that formula and that will give you the value of uh, that i 10 uh, for example or if it is an odd one um, then uh, you can just calculate um, how to say let us say if it is i 11 then you calculate i 9, i 7, i 5, i 3 and then ultimately i 1 and that will give you the answer. So even though you initially have a very complicated or a difficult uh, integral or a product of uh, two functions to um, you just have to use these formulas and that will give you the answer. So in a way a reduction formula is a nice uh, shortcut or a um, a nice tool that will help you calculate those uh, difficult, difficult uh, integral. Next, uh, we have uh, a function of type this. So, let us write i m n equals to cos m to the power x sin nx dx. So, basically I will integrate by parts. So, I will integrate integrate by parts and uh, if I integrate by parts then this will be cos mx. Uh, integration of uh, sin x will be cos nx divided by n and then there will be a minus sign minus m by n this will be cos m minus 1 x differentiation of cos x is minus sin x and then um, 
um, how to say um, integral of sin x is uh, cos nx with a minus sign divided by n dx. So basically minus minus will turn into plus and uh, this n uh, we have taken here. So no need to write this n here. So we don't write n here. Now, um, if, uh, if, if you remember uh, the formula for sin n minus 1 x, so the formula for sin n minus 1 x is equals to uh, sin n x cos x minus cos n x sin x. So, I will use this formula here and then this whole thing will ultimately reduce to minus cos mx times cos nx divided by n minus m by n and this whole thing will turn into cos m minus 1 times x sin nx cos x dx plus um, uh, so minus sorry this will be minus minus m by n um, cos m minus 1 sin n minus 1 x dx. So, this will reduce to minus of cos m x times cos n x by n plus um, minus m by n this will reduce to cos m minus 1 x sin n x and uh, times cos x. So, this will be basically cos m x and uh, then plus m by n this will reduce to uh, cos m minus 1 x times sin n minus 1 x dx. So, this is ba basically our i m n and this one is basically i m minus 1 n minus 1. So, I can write it as cos m x times cos n x by n minus m by n. This is nothing but i m n and uh, this one is again i m minus 1 n minus 1. So, if I take i m n on the on the left hand side and uh, if I div multiply both sides by n then ultimately we will end up with i m n equals to minus of cos m x times cos n x plus m times i m minus 1 n minus 1 divided by so, the whole thing is divided or multiplied by 1 by m plus n and this is our required reduction formula for i m n. So, if you have a product of uh, cos to the power, so if we have a product of uh, cos to the power let us say m x times sin n x our required reduction formula would be of this type. So, again instead of m if you have uh, 10 and instead of n if you have 20 then you just have to put here and then do the calculation and ultimately you will be able to um, uh, up, you'll be, uh, you'll be able to end up with either uh, i 0 0 or i 1 1 or i 1 0 I mean a relatively simple integral to evaluate basically and uh, just how to say reverse engineer so that the engine uh, engineer all those things that means uh, you just have to put everything backwards and then that will give you the answer so this is one such reduction formula similarly instead of uh, uh, instead of uh, cos to the power mx you can have sine to the power mx times cos nx and then you proceed in the similar fashion and then it'll probably end up with a similar formula of this type um, Next, uh, we will look into, and next we will look into um, formula of type, uh, let's say, formula of type so reduction formula.
dx by x square plus a square whole to the power n where n is a positive integer. So, next uh, what we will do? We will write i n equals to dx by x square plus a square whole to the power n and um, what we will do is uh, basically uh, we will write this function. So, we will write this function as uh, integration by parts. We will do integration by parts. So, our first function is x square plus a square times n and the second function is 1. So, this will be x square plus a square whole to the power n and the second function is 1. So, integration of the second function would be simply x minus uh, di uh, differentiation of the first function. So, this will be uh, n times 2 x divided by x square plus a square to the power n plus 1 times x dx. Right? So, this can be written as x by x square plus a square whole to the power n minus n 2 n basically this will be x square divided by x square plus a square whole to the power n plus 1 dx right. Hmm. Now, now I can write x x square plus a square whole to the power n minus 2 n and uh, I can write x square as x square plus a square divided by x square plus a square whole to the power uh, n plus 1 minus um, 2 n minus minus this will be plus uh, so here we have minus and then this integral. So, this will basically turn this whole thing into a plus. So, this is plus and uh, uh, if I go back then this will be plus and then this will be a minus. So, this is a minus 2n times a square dx by x square plus a square whole to the power n plus 1. So, this is basically my i n. So, this is basically my i n minus 2 n times a square times i n plus 1 right. So, I can write 2 n times a square i n plus 1 equals to um, x divided by x square plus a square whole to the power n plus 2n minus 1 times i n because this is this is this whole expression is equals to i n. So, I am bringing this on the left hand side and I am bringing i n on the right hand side. So, we will end up with this. Next, we will divide the both sides by two n times a square. i n and since we need the reduction formula for i n. So, basically I will substitute n equals to n minus 1 on both sides. So, this will yield i n equals to um, i n equals to x by 2 n minus 1 a square x square plus a square whole to the power n minus 1 plus 2 n minus 1 minus 1 times i n minus 1 right. So, I substitute 2 n minus 1 minus 1 by so 2 n minus 1 minus 1 by uh, a square times n minus 1. So, this will be our required uh, reduction formula 
let me verify so n minus 1 yes. So, this will be our required reduction formula for uh, x square d x by x square plus a square whole to the power n. So, a function of this type all right. So, if you are given n equals to let us say n equals to 10 then you just have to substitute n equals to 10 here and then you keep on calculating i 9, i 8, i 7 uh, up to i 0 and uh, you just uh, substitute the value of uh, um, i 9, i 8, i 7 up to i 0 and that will give you the value of uh, i 10 basically. So, this is one such reduction formula. Some people write prefer to write it in a rather um, how to say uh, simpler form. So, you just keep this thing on the left hand side and you just write x square plus a square whole to the power n minus 1 plus 2 uh, n minus 3 i n minus 1. So, this will be your required reduction formula. Yes. For i n. Uh, next, you can have uh, um, functions of uh, type algebraic multiplied by trigonometrical functions. So, our next reduction formula would be of type let us say reduction formula for x to the power n times sin x dx. So, to find the reduction formula for this function I can write i n equals to x to the power n sin x dx and uh, here basically we have to do um, an integration by parts. So, we, we do integration by parts for so the first function will remain unchanged integration of second function would be x to the power n cos x dx minus um, derivative of the first function so x to the power n minus 1 and integration of uh, uh, second function would be cos uh, n minus cos sin x is minus of cos x. So, this will become plus and uh, then we do the integration by parts again for this part and uh, if we do the integration by parts uh, for this one then you will basically obtain so minus x to the power n cos x dx plus n times I am keeping x to the power n minus 1 as my first function. So, x to the power n minus 1 will remain unchanged. Integration of cos x would be sin x minus this one will be n minus 1 x to the power n minus 2 times uh, integration of cos x is again sin x uh, dx. So, this will be minus of x to the power n cos x dx plus n times x to the power n minus 1 sin x minus n times n minus 1 integral of x to the power n minus 2 sin x dx. So, this one is our i n minus 2. So, this is our i n minus 2. So, I can write minus x to the power n cos x dx plus n times x to the power n minus 1 sin x minus n n minus 1 i n minus 2. So, this is our so, this is our required reduction formula for um, i n of this type of this type. You can have uh, integral from uh, 0 to pi by 2 uh, let us say an example. So, you can have integral from 0 to pi by 2 x to the power n sin x dx. So, you can see that um, uh, we will basically be left with uh, um, integral of uh, x to the power n minus 1 um, so we will be left with n times so if i substitute in there so we will have i n minus um, sorry so there shouldn't be any dx here there shouldn't be any dx here now, if I substitute, uh, uh, so there should not be any dx here. Now, if I substitute uh, x equals to 0, 
then uh, cos 0 is 1 and if I substitute x equals to pi by 2, so cos pi by 2 is uh, x, x equals to 0, so this cos 0 is 1, but uh, x equals to 0, so the first. So, at 0 this will vanish and at pi by 2 cos pi by 2 is 0, so this one will again vanish and therefore, and uh, as far as this one is concerned, so at uh, pi by 2 this will remain, so this will be pi by 2 whole to the power n minus 1 and at x equals to 0 sin vanishes, so this uh, at x equals to 0 term will not exist and then this one will be n minus 1 i n minus 2, so I can bring uh, and uh, this one is plus, uh, so I can bring this whole thing on the left hand side, so i n plus n minus 1 times n i n minus 2 and this will be n times pi by 2 whole to the power n minus 1. So, this will be basically the answer to this reduction formula for the integral from 0 to pi by 2. So, this is how we apply this uh, induction formula instead of n you can have n equals to 50 and then you just have to calculate um, i 48, 46 and so on and then just put it back into this formula and that will give you the answer. Um, so, instead of um, sin x you can have any trigonometrical function and you just have to find in some way to obtain to write that uh, trigonometrical part as i n minus to, to get the formula of type i n minus 2 or i n minus 1 and then you basically obtain a nice representation of this type. So, it is all about playing with the trigonometrical functions and some formulas um, and you sort of obtain the required reduction formula. So, it is not that difficult and as far as the examples are concerned just substitute the uh, how to say um, uh, range of integration uh, or range of uh, this uh, definite integral and then you just calculate or play with these algebraic formulas. And um, as far as this um, um, uh, induction formulas are concerned at the end of it you can prefer to, if you prefer to write a constant just write the constant um, otherwise it is understood that there will a constant uh, be here when you calculate um, let us say for n equals to 10 when you calculate i 0 or i 2 ultimately you will obtain a constant. So, it is up to you whether you write this constant here or not because even if you write the constant here and at the end of it when you are calculating i 2 or i 0 then you will obtain another constant. So, constant plus constant is a new constant. So, we prefer to write it as c. So, it, it is totally up to you whether you want to write the c or not. It is it's under, understood that it, it will have a c here. So, um, we will stop uh, today's lecture here and in the next lecture I will uh, try to derive one or two more reduction formulas uh, and afterwards we will move to the improper integral. And in your assignment, uh, we will, uh, we will, uh, I will include some uh, problems uh, from reduction formula just to make the concept clear. So I hope this lecture was fruitful to you, and I look forward to your next, next lecture. Thank you.